A big thank you to InstaWP for sponsoring this video. InstaWP is a great way to create, test, and deploy WordPress websites in just one click. Over the past few months, I've been on a hunt, a hunt for the perfect carousel slider for WordPress. Well, the good news is I found it. The criteria that I set myself on my hunt was as follows. It had to be blockified, i.e. I could use any other blocks within it. It had to support posts and custom posts. It had to support WooCommerce products. It had to be mobile friendly. And even better, it had to be free. So I'm gonna give you a really quick demo on how it works, but it's really simple. And then I'm gonna dive into each of those examples and show you how I built each one. So this is how it works. I'm gonna type forward slash carousel as the keyboard shortcut to add the block. And I will tell you the name of the plugin. And that adds the container. Now I can add slides within that. So I click on the plus sign. And the beauty is I can add any blocks I like within it. So for now, I'm just gonna add the image block, but you could add the cover block. You could add the post query block, any block at all. And then I'm gonna choose my image. And then over on the right, I'm just gonna fix the aspect ratio. And if we look at the list view, we've got the carousel slider. And within that, we've got a slide and an image. We can also set the width of the entire group of the whole carousel sliders. You've got normal, wide width and full width. And then over on the right, we've got some really important settings. The first one is slides to show. This is how many slides are gonna show on the screen. So if I set that to be one, then the slide will take up the entire width of the container. And you can see as I drag it up and down, it varies accordingly. Then the second option here is slides to scroll at any one time. We also have slide animation speed, previous and next arrows, dots navigation, infinite loop, and autoplay. And we also have some really cool responsive settings. So we can set a breakpoint, and when it comes to that size, when the screen is that size, we can vary the number of slides to show and how many slides to scroll. Now what I'm gonna do is just duplicate that slide a few times using the list view, and then I'm gonna jump in and replace each image just so we can see how it's working. And here's my finished slider. It looks really pro, only took about two minutes to set up, but it's hugely extensible. For example, because we're just using blocks, we can take advantage of the new Lightbox functionality that comes with all WordPress images. Or we could use the cover block with text areas and transparent backgrounds behind them. In this example, I've used the query loop block in conjunction with the carousel block to create this fantastic new slider. Or if you're a user of WooCommerce, you can combine it with any of the WooCommerce blocks and create these beautiful product carousels and sliders in no time at all. And because we're just using blocks, it means we can extend it with other plugins. In this example, I'm using the fantastic Twentig plugin to create these extra hover styles. But should you use a slider? And that is a great question. And you may well be sitting there thinking, I'm never gonna use sliders on my website. Or you may have been told never to use sliders on your website. Somebody's even built a website telling us why we shouldn't build sliders on websites. But over the past week, I bought a new camera using amazon.com and they use sliders on their website. They kind of know what they're talking about. I booked a holiday using Airbnb they kind of know what they're talking about and they use sliders. So just use common sense. If it's appropriate to the use case, then use them. And this is a great slider plugin to use. But I'm really interested to know what you think. Do you use sliders on your websites? Would you never use sliders on your websites? Let me know by posting a comment below. And this is the plugin itself. It's called Carousel Slider Block for Gutenberg. It just gets full of five star reviews lately. It's just brilliant, I love it. It's very clean and lightweight, but super extensible. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, if you can hit the like button down below now, it'd be amazing because it makes a huge difference in terms of how many people get to see this video. It really, really does. So thank you if you can hit that like button now. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.